This almost 100 foot high sculpture near Warrington hides an unusual secret. Encounter is a sculptural beacon situated at Junction 11 on the M62, designed to catch the eyes of travellers entering Birchwood and Warrington East. The initial idea for the sculpture came from the Burtonwood Forum, and they commissioned artist Stephen Broadbent to design it. The sculpture was built locally in Birchwood during 2002, and assembly started in October of that year, with the final piece completed in November. Encounter came to fruition through the support and partnership between Birchwood Forum, Birchwood Town Council, Warrington Borough Council and Birchwood Community High School. Its design is based on two figures flying through the air together, symbolising the relationship and interchange between business and the local community. The 30 metre sculpture apparently takes its reference from the birch tree with its distinctive peeling bark, commonly seen throughout Birchwood, although I don't see much reference to that in the sculpture itself. Reference is also made visually to the swore formed on an engineer's lathe, which again I don't see, recognising the rich engineering history of Warrington. It was constructed from a combination of mild steel and cast aluminium, coated in a durable protective outer layer. It stands over 90 feet tall and is one of England's tallest pieces of public art. It was lifted into place and assembled in sections over around four hours and was unveiled by Steve Broomhead in November 2002. It was illuminated with a yellow-white light until around 2004 and then again in 2008 for a week with a pinkish-white colour. It hasn't been lit since. So, you're probably all asking, why is Ringway Manchester talking about sculptural art? Well, this piece was constructed in collaboration with the mobile network operator Hutchison 3. In the past, I've shown you trees like this, like this, and like this, and chimneys like this. They're disguised mobile phone towers, and the reasoning behind sites like this are well documented in my other videos, which I'll link below and at the end of this one. Encounter successfully and discreetly houses mobile phone antennas. This partnership helped to not only fund it, but gives the sculpture an ongoing functional aspect. Hidden in the top of the statue behind glass reinforced polymer are mobile phone antennas belonging to three. The company was searching for a site for a telecom mast and offered funding in return for the project team allowing their equipment to be installed in it. On the ground is an equipment box, but I couldn't hear any signs of life in there, although this label says that everything is still in use. Up-to-date data suggests that there's no three masks still in use here anymore, but behind those panels are antennas with coaxial feeders going up to them through the legs of the statue. So, the next time you're in the area, keep your eyes peeled for one of the most cleverly disguised mobile phone towers you're ever likely to see.